my dear friends, there's something truly special about praying between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. These early hours are often referred to as the fourth watch, a time when the spiritual realm is particularly active and receptive. In the stillness of these early hours, we seize this sacred moment to seek God's divine presence. The world is quiet and our hearts are open, making it the perfect time to connect with the divine. Our thoughts turn to Psalm 104-5, which encourages us to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. This scripture reminds us of the importance of gratitude and worship in our prayers. In this spirit, let us fill our prayers with gratitude and bless his holy name. As we begin this day, let our hearts be filled with thankfulness for the countless blessings we have received. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with thanksgiving and praise. You are the creator of the universe, the one who holds all things together. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the almighty God who reigns over all creation. Your power and majesty are beyond our comprehension and we stand in awe of your greatness. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and there is none like you in all the earth. Your wisdom and knowledge are infinite, and your love for us is boundless. We stand in awe of your majesty and power, and we worship you with reverence. Your presence fills the heavens and the earth, and we are humbled by your glory. I praise you for your goodness and faithfulness, for your love that never fails, and for your grace that is new every morning. Your mercy endures forever, and your grace towards us is beyond measure. Your mercy endures forever, and your grace towards us is beyond measure. You have been our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. I thank you for your perfect plan of salvation and for the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins and was raised in victory. Through him we have been reconciled to you and have received the gift of eternal life. Lord, I praise you for your holiness, righteousness and justice, and for your unchanging nature. You are the same yesterday, today and forever, and your word is truth that stands firm in every age. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And your word is truth that stands firm in every age. Your promises are sure, and your faithfulness endures to all generations. Heavenly Father, I praise you and give you all the glory, honor, and praise. You are a God of mercy and compassion slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. According to your multitude of grace and mercy, be merciful unto us, for we have all sinned and fallen short of your glory. We acknowledge our transgressions and humbly seek your forgiveness. We humbly come to you, confessing our sins and asking for your forgiveness. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness and create in us a clean heart, O oh God. Your word says in 1 John 1 and 9, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and purify us from all unrighteousness. We hold on to this promise and trust in your unfailing love. Lord, I acknowledge my shortcomings and ask for your mercy and grace to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Help me to turn away from sin and to walk in your ways. Forgive me for the times I have sinned against you through thoughts, words and actions, and for the times I have failed to love my neighbors as myself. Grant me the strength to overcome temptation and to live a life that is pleasing to you, and for the times I have failed to love my neighbors as myself. Help me to show compassion and kindness to others reflecting your love in all that I do. Thank you, Lord, 
for being faithful and just to forgive me. Your mercy is new every morning and your grace is sufficient for all my needs. Cleanse me, O God, and grant me the strength to resist temptations and walk in your ways. Lead me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Heavenly Father, King of kings and Lord of lords, you are our rock and our fortress. You are faithful and full of grace. I lift up my heart in gratitude and praise for all that you have done for me. I thank you for the gift of life and for all your provisions. I'm grateful for your constant presence and for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me. Lord, I thank you for the people in my life, my family, friends, and loved ones who bring me joy and support. I thank you for the people in my life, my family, friends, and loved ones who bring me joy and support. Their love and encouragement are a reflection of your love for me. I thank you for your mercy and grace, for your love that never fails, and for the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through his death and resurrection, we have been given the gift of eternal life. I thank you for the new life we have in Christ and for the Holy Spirit who guides and empowers us to live according to your will. Your presence in our lives brings us peace and joy beyond measure. I am grateful for the beauty of your creation, which reminds us of your greatness and love. The mountains, the oceans, the forests, and the skies all declare your glory. Thank you for the simple joys of life, the warmth of the sun, the sound of birds singing, the beauty of a sunset. These moments of peace and tranquility are gifts from you. I thank you for the opportunities to grow and learn, for the challenges that strengthen my faith, and for the moments of reflection that draw me closer to you. Lord, I am grateful for your guidance and wisdom, for your protection and provision. You are my refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Heavenly Father, our rock and our salvation, you are our source of strength. I come before your throne of grace and mercy, recognizing that you are the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and the source of all blessings. I bow my heart in humility, acknowledging that apart from you I can do nothing. I worship and praise your most holy name. Lord, I thank you for your assurance in Matthew 18 to 18, which says, Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every principality and power of darkness that seeks to sabotage my progress. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned. Thank you, Lord, for your divine protection over my family, my life, and my health and finances. I proclaim that financial breakthrough is coming into my life, and I am stepping into a season of abundance and overflow. I declare that I am blessed in the city and blessed in the field under the shelter of your wings. Your provision is more than enough and I trust in your faithfulness to meet all my needs. Lord, I ask for your wisdom and guidance in managing my finances. Help me to be a good steward of the resources you have entrusted to me. Give me the discernment to make wise decisions and the courage to follow your leading. I pray for opportunities to increase my income and for doors to open that will lead to financial stability and prosperity. Bless the work of my hands and grant me favor in all my endeavors. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and provision 
I trust in your promises and believe that you will supply all my needs according to your riches in glory. I declare that I am walking in your favor and that your blessings are overtaking me. I am confident that you are working all things together for my good. Heavenly Father, you are our salvation, our healer, and our great physician. You are our deliverer and present help in times of trouble. You are our deliverer and present help in times of trouble. I come before you grateful and thankful for your mercy and grace. I come before you grateful and thankful for your mercy and grace. We praise your holy name for your immeasurable love. We praise your holy name for your immeasurable love. My soul yearns for your divine healing and deliverance. My soul yearns for your divine healing and deliverance. Lord, I stand in faith on the promise that the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well and that the Lord will raise them up. Lord, I stand in faith on the promise that the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well and that the Lord will raise them up. I trust in your grace to raise me up, to bring healing into every area of my life, body, mind and spirit. I trust in your grace to raise me up, to bring healing into every area of my life, body, mind and spirit. Merciful God, touch me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Merciful God, touch me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Let the healing virtue of the Holy Spirit flow through my body, touching and healing every organ, every muscle, every joint, every marrow and every cell. Let the healing virtue of the Holy Spirit flow through my body, touching and healing every organ, every muscle, every joint, every marrow and every cell. I believe in your power to heal and restore and I receive your healing touch with gratitude and faith. My dear friends, thank you for joining in this powerful prayer meditation. As we conclude, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be part of a community dedicated to growing in faith, receiving daily prayers and experiencing God's divine presence together. Thank you for joining in this powerful prayer meditation. As we conclude, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be part of a community dedicated to growing in faith, receiving daily prayers, and experiencing God's divine presence together. I invite you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be part of a community dedicated to growing in faith, receiving daily prayers, and experiencing God's divine presence together. By subscribing, you'll be part of a community dedicated to growing in faith, receiving daily prayers, and experiencing God's divine presence together. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a prayer. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a prayer. Share these blessings with your family and friends and let's spread God's love and grace far and wide. Click the subscribe button and